Oh, tonight, Fort Worth ISD approved a resolution trying to calm fears by making all schools welcoming and safe for students. Brittany Jeffers was at that meeting. She joins us live from Fort Worth right now. Kaylee, we found out tonight that this is essentially an agreed upon statement. This resolution means that students and staff should not fear discrimination while they are in, on any school campuses. Now, tonight, the Board of Trustees also took some time to address certain questions that they received over the past few weeks about immigration issues. Motion passes 6 4 and 0 against. In a quick vote, Fort Worth ISD passed a resolution to make all schools in the district welcoming and safe. But for an hour before this, speaker after speaker addressed why the resolution is needed. No one was opposed. In fact, many saying that fear is bubbling up in the school system over immigration. Many of our students' daily fear is worrying whether immigration enforcement officers will pick them up as they wait for the bus or while they're sitting in class. Several parents and educators said it was their obligation to try to put students' minds at ease. I hope that all of our students um, are able to get up in the morning and go to the school feeling safe and secure and free from intimidation and any emotional angst so they can learn. And this comes following many questions by parents in the district. Board trustees squashed concerns that there were ICE agents on school campuses. The rumors that immigration officers have been in or around schools are completely untrue. Board trustees did say that Fort Worth ISD had 15,000 absences on the day without immigrants. Several other cities have addressed similar resolutions like the one approved tonight. Just last week, Dallas ISD unanimously approved a resolution and the same thing happened in Austin. Now, this was just one of the big topics that we heard in there tonight. The superintendent unveiled a new plan for five of the schools that they call struggling. They say now in the new school year, they will be considered leadership academies. Reporting live tonight in Fort Worth, I'm Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News.